Welcome to Mr. Garner's Art Class. Welcome to Mr. Garner's Art Class. Welcome to Mr. Garner's Art Class. Show me no BD. Do do Welcome to another episode of Mr. Gardner's Art Class. The quote of the day is, Universe rewards those who walk in kindness. Thank you so much. Thank you for the parents who are stepping up and donating and volunteering. Um, shout out to the PTA, of course. Shout out to all of our, our wonderful staff from, so huge shout out, without further ado, to Zoe, right? Look at the bunny. The bunny is beautiful. Give a huge shout out to Trent. Trent, beautiful fish. Uh, we're going to give a shout out to Astrid and Elam for their hard work in Rainmakers. Uh, a huge shout out to Jalen Peters, um, all the way from Howard County. Huge shout out to Dakari. Look at Dakari's bunny. Uh, Sydney, my BFF, with her beautiful Rainmaker. Huge shout out. I wonder who this can be. Hello? Hey, Mr. Garner. Hey. Stop the video. I'll, let me stop the video. I teach third grade, right? Yeah, I know you teach third grade. And in third grade, we teach everything. ELA, writing, and math. Yes, you do. Very so hard job. Today, Today, I'm calling to challenge you to design a project that combines ELA and math and writing. ELA, math, and, and writing? And writing, yes, and writing. Are you up for the challenge? Am I up for the challenge? I'm always up for the challenge. She says she wants ELA. She says she wants mathematics. She says she wants art. What can we come up with? Ms. Moore has a great challenge this week. Uh, ELA and reading is going to be conquered by you creating an original story that has a problem. You have an object. You get to choose your object and you get to choose your characters that you're going to create using numbers. There's your mathematics. We're going to create a story where there's a problem, there's a main character, and you have to solve the problem before the story ends. And here we go. So we're gonna walk you through this really quick. We're gonna start off with a number one. Make sure that when you're making your numbers that you make them exactly the way I make mine. Also, you can slow down or pause this video at any point in time. We're gonna go straight back into number two, the swan or the duck or the goose. We're gonna go with a number five here. We're gonna call this the lucky beaver. Real easy, number five, backwards C. The arm is pretty, pretty easy, two parallel lines. Put in the little fingers. All right, let's go with the nose. We're gonna put in the teeth. The, big, the beavers has big teeth, all right. We're gonna go with number six, the snail. Number five, the apple. It's just the letter C and the number five. Oh, we're gonna go with the nine. We're gonna go with the, go with number nine, we gotta go with the, uh, the, the giraffe. We love the giraffe. He's a cutie. We're gonna go with number 10. This is gonna be my main character. My main character of the story of, for the ELL, ELA part. Um, the mathematics obviously is we're gonna draw animals with numbers. It's my favorite guy right here, my main character. His name is Bobby. Say hi, Bobby. Hello, kid. <laughs> We're gonna go with our kite. It's gonna be our object. Bobby's kite. All right, we're gonna make sure that Bobby's kite is in the air. We're gonna get ready to do our thing. All right, when we start coloring, we're gonna choose our color schemes. Our color schemes are gonna be cool colors, blue, purple, and green. 
and our warm colors are gonna be orange, yellow, and red. We want a fast snail, right? So color scheme, warm versus cool, purple, green, and blue are going to be the cool colors. You're gonna color your characters either warm colors or cool colors. Warm colors, again, are yellow, orange, and red. They're fire. All right, our beaver, his name is gonna be Chucky. Our Bobby the pig. Uh, we're gonna take uh, Jeffrey the giraffe. We're gonna go with Alex the shark. We're gonna go with Speedy the snail, Swanee, and our kite. Woo! What a crazy challenge. We got through it. We came. We saw, we conquered Miss Moore. Thank you for the challenge. It was very, very difficult. Very, 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 very challenging. But we managed to uh, come out on the other side clean and uh, ready to go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, all right. Without further ado, uh, we're going to introduce to you the best written and illustrated book storyteller uh, of the century, um, Bobby the blue pig, where oh where is my kite? This story was written by Mr. Garner. It was illustrated by Mr. Garner. It was narrated by Mr. Garner, produced by Mr. Garner and the guy who went to go get the donuts. It was Mr. Garner. Hold on to your seatbelts for the greatest. Hello everybody, my name is Bobby. Bobby the Blue Pig, and I love to fly my kite. My kite is blue and green. I like when my kite flies high. But one day I flew my kite just a little bit too high, and it just kept going and going and going. And may I tell you, it was one of the saddest days of my life. One day there was a snail, and the snail told me, Hey, Mr. Bobby the Pig, why don't you walk around town and ask everybody if they've seen your kite? So that's what I did. I went to the swan. I said, Swan, have you seen my kite? Well, no, I have not there, little blue Bobby Pig. I have not seen your kite. Hey, Mr. Blue 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 Shark, have you seen my kite? Of course, Bobby the Pig, I have not, because I live underwater. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, Crazy Beaver, have you seen my kite? <laughs> no, I have not, Bobby. No, I have not. Oh, well, I guess I will try to look for my blue and green kite. I can't find it. I'm so sad. Let me go ask the giraffe. Hey, Jeffrey, have you seen my kite? Yes, I have, silly. It's up here in the tree. And I'll get it down for you because my neck is long and tall. All right. Thank you, Jeffrey, for helping me solve my problem. Thank you that you were so tall and you could reach my kite in that tree. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Goodbye, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Gardner. Thank you, Mr. Gardner. Thank you, Mr. Gardner. You are very awesome. <laughs>